Hey guys, today we're taking a look at contains duplicate, which is a pretty foundational Leetcode question that uh, covers the concept of a hash set. So given an integer array nums, return true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. So false if every element is distinct, we're looking for a non-unique array, non-unique. Um, so we'll take a look at this example, one, two, three, one, um, and we see that a one appears twice, which means that then we can return true. We see something that's appeared twice. So uh, let's let's take a look at an unoptimized solution. Let's take a look at something called linear search, which is uh, a method of solving these problems that a lot of beginners try to take. So we have this array one, two, three, one. Now, if you haven't been introduced to any new data structures and you, you've just kind of used arrays, then what you might be familiar with the idea of is this linear search where we'll set index i equal to the very first index, and then we'll check uh, all the remaining indexes. So we'll set j equal to i plus one, you know, the index right after, and then we'll, we'll iterate j through the rest of the list. And then if at any point the, the element at index i is equal to the element at index j, um, one and one here would be equal, then when j is here, then we can return i and j. Uh, for the sake of just this example, let's assume that one doesn't equal one, and we'll assume that this didn't, we, we, did, we didn't hit any, any duplicates. Let's say this was four. Then we can increment i, and because j is dependent on i, j would also be incremented as well. So we'll set i here and j here as well. Um, we can ignore that. And then now we're at element two. And now all the remaining indexes are three and four. Does two ever equal three? No. Does, then that means we increment j. Does two ever equal four? No. Uh, and then we can increment i again and do one last iteration where five doesn't equal four. So uh, let's figure out the time complexity for this one. We have a big O of, and we know that we have at least n because we're iterating through it at least once. But for every single element, uh, we're going to do another iteration that could pretty much be almost the size of n. We'll just call that uh, n again. Um, then this is going to be O of n squared time complexity, which is pretty bad. Uh, what about the space complexity? So the benefit of doing some a solution like this is that uh, the space complexity is actually constant. You're not setting any new variables. You're not setting any new arrays or objects. You're just searching through to see if you can find two, two target indices. So uh, the space is uh, constant, but the time is a quadratic. Let's see if we can shrink these a bit. Enter set object. So a set object or a hash set, however you want to call it, is an object that is unique because it can only take in unique values. There can be no duplicates in a set. Uh, and just knowing that already, you can kind of see how this would be uh, pretty fundamental to solving the problem. So if we have this array one, two, three, one, and we wanted to put every single element here into a set, we wouldn't be able to do that. We'd only be able to put one, two, three in the set. And however many times you try to add this last one, it just wouldn't work. So let's take a look at uh, how we would actually write this code. Um, we would have this array, one, two, three, one. And we want to check whether our set object, uh, which at the time has been instantiated to an empty object, uh, does the set object have, uh, does it already contain this element? Um, if it doesn't contain the element, then we can add it. We'll set our set object like this. Uh, if it doesn't contain the element one, then we'll add it here. Uh, if it doesn't contain the element two, then we'll add it. If it doesn't contain the element three, then we'll add it. But if it does contain the element, which we hit this case here, then we can return true. We've hit a duplicate. We've hit an element that we've already seen in set. Uh, and then if not, then we can obviously just add it again. So let's see what the complexities for this one look like. So the time complexity, uh, when we create the set, we're going to be doing the uh, return conditions and the creation of the set simultaneously. It's all going to be in the same for loop. So we'll, we'll, we'll do the iteration. And then if it has, then we'll return. Uh, otherwise, we'll add. And then at the very end of the after the for loop, we'll do another return. So it all happens in one for loop, which means that the time complexity is linear. It's O of n. It only iterates through the given array once. Uh, the space complexity, though, is going to be a bit worse than what we had before. Uh, it's also O of n because of this new set object that we're creating. It it would take a, um, this, a space of a maximum of n length. So the space complexity is going to be linear, but I would say this solution is probably better and it's probably what interviewers are asking for. Um, and it's, it's just a good introduction to these set objects. So let's see how the actual code looks like in JavaScript. All right, so we're going to start by creating the set object and we'll use this using the new keyword and it's just, we'll call it hash for hash set. Um, and it's going to be a new object of the set class. So that's that's what we're doing there. And then we can iterate through for constant null of nums. So we're going to, each time this runs, we're going to be using a different num in the, in the next index of the array nums. Uh, if 
hash dot has num, if we've already seen it before, then we can return true. That's a duplicate. Otherwise, we'll have to add num. Um, and then if we hit this entire for loop without hitting a return statement, then we can just do a simple return false here. This would mean that we don't, we, 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 it's, it's a completely unique array. We've never hit a number that we've already seen before. So if we submit this, then this should, this should work. Yep. And that's it.